Well, the issues are that uh, we've had 77 of our members, sorry, 76 of our members have been laid off, and we only have 720 members, so it's about a little bit more than 10% of our members have been laid off. And our members provide really frontline supports for students. We have educational assistants, we have custodians that clean the schools and keep them safe. Uh, we have uh, maintenance people, we have secretaries, school secretaries. So these are the types of people that are being laid off, the frontline workers. I'm a teacher locally in Muskoka um, and prior to that I was an educational assistant for five years and it's really important to me to see educational assistants within our classrooms and within our schools because in my opinion they're the backbone of our schools. They're what make our schools run and without them we can't be successful. We're going to go right behind me to the Muskoka Education Centre and we're doing a delegation to the board so we're going to have 15 minutes to talk about the issues uh, that are that are at, 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 at the point of this whole uh, barbecue and, and the delegation and we're hoping for public support as well and we're hoping that, uh, that, that the board takes a second look at this. We know that the money is there, I mean today they hired a new uh, district principal um, which is a very senior person in the board and this is a brand new position and so they've decided to put the money there rather than in frontline supports that actually work with students. I knew for me right away, um, I was off today for an appointment, but I was like, I have to be back for this, for this because I need to show that as a teacher, this is important to me as well. It's not just our EAs and our secretaries and our custodians, but as a whole, we're a community. And without showing that support and that solidarity, we're not going to make a difference. During the regular board meeting being held following this rally, board officials provided some context on what these layoffs mean. One example was around the layoffs of custodial staff. 100% uh, there are definitely layoffs, um, no doubt about that. Um, so if I was to break it down as uh, the numbers that were talked about earlier, um, there were for custodians, uh, 37 layoff notices issued. So for some clarification around that though, of those uh, 10 notices or 27% of the notices that were issued to custodial staff were layoffs of additional responsibility only. Um, so what that means is based on decreases in staffing, some schools will no longer have a lead hand position, but the individual in that role will still maintain their full-time permanent position. And so, I, you know, absolutely there's a decrease in salary. Um, it works out to about 57 cents an hour. So 100% there is a decrease, and, and so that is an impact. I don't want to minimize that. But there isn't a reduction of a body in the school for those, um, in those scenarios. Now, 100% there are other scenarios where we do have people um, that are laid off anywhere from their full hours to a reduction um, of one hour in a particular shift. Um, and all of those individuals will have a uh, right to recall um, for the 22-23 school year. So for context, um, and uh, Bill referenced this in his presentation earlier, um, the last time there were custodial reductions was in 2019. Um, and we did uh, give 23 layoff notices at that time, so very similar. Um, and everybody that chose to stay um, were offered permanent positions by midway through the 2019-20 uh, school year.